All right, so the chair that you have now is in four pieces. You've got the seat in the trunk of the car. You've got the, that's the base, I'm sorry, this is the base, the seat, the two battery covers, and the two batteries. So the first thing you're going to do is take your batteries, and they go right in here. I mean, you can't really mess up. Put the battery in here. Take your Velcro. Go through the loop. And bring it back down like this, okay? And put the extra. Connect them right here so it can't mess up. Black to black. I'm sorry, i got to reverse it. Black to black. And make sure they're connected properly, tight. If not, put a piece of tape on here so they don't get disconnected. But that goes there. And then take your cover. This is your joystick. Let me move. Put your cover right over the right over the battery casing. Turn the yellow knobs until it's tight. And now you've got one battery casing on. Same thing on the other side. Move your Velcro out of the way. Put your battery in there. You can connect it, you can do the Velcro before you connect the power. Put the Velcro through the loop right here. Bring the Velcro back down to the side of the battery. Put the extra piece right there. Connect your cable again, like this. Put your other battery box right on here. Turn the knobs. So now you've got your battery cables connected. Take your joystick, turn the power on, on top, hit this button for the seat lift, that, when that light comes on, the seat lift is on, move the joystick backward, and you see your seat is going up. So it's easier to put the seat on when the seat is elevated, so you're going to elevate the seat until it stops. So it's going to go up 10 inches, so it's already on top, turn the power off. Put your joystick over here so you don't step on it. Take your seat, and your seat has four bolts. These four bolts come from the bottom. You got three holes right here, so they can be moved. The seat can be moved back or forward, depending what hole you put the bolts in. So you're going to put four bolts either through the first hole, second, or third hole, depending how far back you want the seat. You're going to use these two outside railings here and these three holes right here for your bolts. So take your seat. Put it on top of your chair. You're going to have to get on your back. Put the four bolts. You need an Allen wrench. So if you have an Allen wrench set, this is the one you would need. And then tighten up your bolts on the seat. All four of them so it's solid on the seat. So that tightens up your seat. Once you have the seat on there, you're going to want to put your joystick on. Take the joystick right here. Lift the arm up, there's a little slot in here, slide the joystick in the slot. Should go in real easily, okay? Then you get my Allen wrench. Now the seat is moving because I don't have it tightened up on there just for time purpose, but you can figure out it's just four bolts. Put the arm up. I'm going to loosen up this little screw right here. That's why it was in the way. So put your joystick on here. Put it all the way here. Hold it straight. Tighten up the Allen wrench under your arm right here. And now your joystick is on here tight. Right behind your joystick, you get your lights for the front of your scooter right here. That's that little button right here. And once you have the arm on, you want to lift the arm up. There's a little hole right here. Put a little tie down right there. So the, so the cables are not dangling down when you're driving. And put another tie down under the arm. And you're ready to go. And then put your cover on. Take your cover. If you have yours is red. But you would start from the front. You would drop it in the front, and then in the back it velcros. And that's about it. You drop the front in. Actually, I don't have the front in right. Drop it all the way in the front. There's two slots. And then the back sits on velcros, and it's on there.
So that's how you put this chair back together. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We are a family owned business for over 20 years. Thank you for watching this presentation. We have several other models available. If you have any questions, please call the number below 800-677-6293. Thank you again for watching.